Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw George Crumb, the inventor of the potato chip. So I'm going to come right about three-fourths from the top. I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw an oval, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. And right here on the left, I'm going to put one straight line. And over here on the right, I'm going to put another straight line. I come back to the left and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Right here at the bo uh, bottom, I'm going to put straight lines going all the way across. I'm going to come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. And on the right, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come down to the left and I draw a straight line going down. Come on the right, straight line going down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a slightly curved line, connect. Now I come right here, <clears throat> excuse me, on the left hand side, <clears throat> excuse me again. And I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come back over to the right, slightly curved line on the right. Now I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a big curved line to the right, come back to the left, draw another big curved line across, up, and connect. Inside, starting on the left, I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. Come down a little bit, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Okay? I'm going to leave these two lines floating. You'll see why in just a minute. Now, I come back up on top on the left and I draw a curved line going down, jump over, curve line, connect on the left. Come on the right hand side, curve line going down, jump over, curve line going down, connect on the right. Come inside and draw one dot on the left, one dot on the right. Make that a little bit bigger. Now come back to the left and draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Now do it on the right, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come right in the center and we're just going to draw a little curve line. And then underneath, curve line, curve line going down, curve line, curve line going up, connect. Right next to that on the right, curve line, curve line going down, curve line, curve line going up, connect. And right in the center, a little curved line. Now I come back down here at the bottom and I'm going to fill this in with curved line, wavy line, curved line, wavy line. Come up above, just fill that in with a curved line, curved line, curved line, wavy line. Basically, we're filling in this whole entire section with all kinds of curved line, wavy lines. And it doesn't matter, really, what they look like because we're going to fill up the basket with these curved lines, wavy lines. And what are these curved line, wavy lines? These are all potato chips. Curve line, curve line. Maybe one more. Okay, now let's see if that's everything. I think it is. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, George Crumb was African American. He was half African American and half Native American. But we're going to celebrate him as an African American inventor today. Okay, so I'm going to color his entire face, neck, 
and ears brown kind of a dark brown okay then I come in with my black and I'm going to color his hair his eyebrows right and left this is hair down below and his mustache all black now I'm going to leave his hat and his uniform white because he was a chef so we'll leave those white now I come all the way down to my potato chips now I found apricot or peach or whatever color this is so I colored all these potato chips in with a little bit of that but if you don't have that color you can use your light brown then I came in with another brown and just did the edges because you know how potato chips the edges can be black or brown or a different color and uh, I do that all the way down and around now in uh, George's restaurant that he worked in and that he eventually opened I think his own he used to put baskets of potato chips on each of the tables. So for that, I'm just going to use my brown crayon to mimic the uh, black lines, and then I'm going to go over it with yellow. Now if you look at this, he's pretty monochromatic in color. Whites, browns, beiges. So what I did was, was I added some color in the background. So I drew red straight lines all the way across filling in the background with like wallpaper then I came in and I used my black crayon and all I did was like a dotted line all the way across which will take you some time but take your time it'll look great when you finish and then both sides I'm doing this quick and then in between the black lines I put a little green line okay so this might be a lot of work but it really kinda adds to George's whole portrait he was such an interesting man all the way across okay now sometimes when I skip going all the way across for some reason people stop so just know that this is an overall pattern the background that goes all the way across your picture okay let's see what George looks like all colored in okay here's George Crumb african-american inventor of the potato chip all colored in he was from Saratoga Springs New York he was a hunter a guide and will be remembered most for being a chef okay bye bye